Welcome to this week's episode of Motivation and Emotion. This week we hear from Emily, a 22-year-old female who's been working to conquer her phobia of commitment in romantic relationships. Emily, talk to me about dating. Casual dating, loved the idea of. Committed romantic relationships, not for me. Interesting. Are you seeing anybody at the moment? No, I've recently called it quits on a lovely girl named Katrina. We weren't together for very long, but we were spending all of our time together. Right, okay. I'm sorry to hear. And why did you guys split up? Well, Katrina started pressing me on the idea of a long-term committed intimate relationship and I had a lot of fear and anxiety with that. Anxiety is not good to deal with at the uh, best of times. What are you doing to manage that? So I've started seeing a therapist who said that I have relationship commitment phobia and apparently that's not subject to any specific age bracket or gender or sexual preference but it's based on past experiences. Um, what sort of past experiences are you talking about? Now? Originally she thought it was an attachment style I'd learned in early childhood based on how my parents responded to my needs. Uh, after doing an adult attachment interview with me she realized that I had a secure attachment so she's asked me about my past romantic relationship. She's realised that I had a failed one that ended in heartbreak on my behalf and essentially I've been classically conditioned to associate fear and anxiety with relationships as a whole and that's come just from my negative associations with my failed relationship. Okay and how's treatment going? What's the plan going forward? Uh, so we've settled on a mix of two. Uh, we've got systematic desensitization, which is a graded process. Essentially, I've made a fear hierarchy and I'm slowly exposing myself to the idea of a relationship and mindfulness-based therapy, which essentially I'm keeping myself in the present and not focusing on perceived threats of relationships. I'm doing a lot of meditation and figuring out the root of my fears. Fantastic, it's going well? Look, I can sort of fathom the idea of a committed relationship in the future, yes. Great stuff, I'm happy to hear. Thank you so much for your time today. No worries. And that concludes this week's episode of Motivation and Emotion. For any further information on the concepts covered in this week's episode, follow the link in the description to a Wikiversity chapter written for the unit Motivation and Emotion at the University of Canberra.